пожаловать на тренинг родителей по программе «Школа завтрашнего дня». Мы верим, что семья и родители должны идти рука об руку. Нам нужно понимать, как работает have... система программы «Школа завтрашнего дня», как работают процедуры. И поэтому сегодня в нашей студии у нас два заместителя директора по учебно-воспитательной работе – Юлия Владимировна Бенедик и Наталья Леонидовна Стафеева. Более чем 25 лет мы вместе работаем. Они не выглядят так, как они уже 25 лет в этой системе. Они чудесно и молодо выглядят. А, и я хотела, я хотела бы попросить вас сейчас, перед тем, как мы дадим им слово, я хочу задать вам такой вопрос. Любите ли вы шоколадные конфеты? Да, я очень люблю шоколад с кофе. Даже сегодня принесла с собой здесь кружку кофе. Тогда у меня вопрос для вас. Почему вы думаете... Почему вы выбираете именно эти конфеты бабаевского производства? Это, простите, это не реклама. А, ну да, извините, мы не будем называть компании кондитерской фабрики. Итак, почему вы думаете, эти конфеты вкусные? Когда я выбираю конфеты, я смотрю на производителя. И если это надежные производители, я выберу именно их продукцию. Да, я думаю, что это очень важно. Если мы выбираем какую-то компанию, какой-то бренд, то мы, конечно, получаем тот результат, который ожидаем. Мисс Натали, ну а вы почему выбираете эти конфеты? Потому что у них э, э, совершенная технология производства конфет. Поэтому, да, давайте мы будем сегодня говорить о технологии, которой нужно следовать. А, если мы пошаговая инструкцию, рецепт выполняем по производству конфет, мы получаем э, чудесные конфеты. Сегодня же мы будем говорить о том, как сделать обучение эффективным. Мы сегодня будем говорить о том, какие учебные процедуры существуют в нашей школе. И я хотел бы предоставить сейчас слово Юлии Владимировне Бенедик, которая поделится с нами философией, которая присутствует в нашей образовательной программе. Спасибо большое, Леонид Витальевич. Я очень рада быть первым спикером, который открывает серию вебинаров для родителей. Нам хочется, чтобы мы с вами все были в одной лодке, учителя и родители, чтобы у нас было единое понимание того, как работает система. Нам хочется, чтобы вы чувствовали себя уверенными. Вы можете взять, налить себе чай или кофе во время нашего выступления. И надеюсь, что после наших занятий вы еще более будете знакомы с пониманием и иметь большее понимание программы «Школа завтрашнего дня». И я надеюсь, что количество вопросов после этих занятий не станет меньше, но вопросы сами будут иметь совершенно другой, более качественный характер. Итак, давайте начнем сначала. Давайте начнем с диагностического тестирования. Сегодня мы будем говорить о технологии, и диагностическое тестирование является частью образовательной технологии. По сути дела, начало технологии в диагностическом тестировании. Если вы знакомы с другими образовательными системами, вы знаете, что может быть использоваться такой термин, как диагностическое, диагностическое тестирование или тест для определения уровня. Когда же мы используем слово «диагностика», то, возможно, на ум приходит параллель с медициной и с теми исследованиями, которыми мы иногда проходим. 
И действительно, мы можем провести некую аналогию. Когда мы обращаемся за помощью к врачу, он ставит нам диагноз, потом выписывает какие-то рецепты, и мы... Description of the educational materials that your child is going to study. Now, let me share with you a very interesting table. This table, which is the... Uh, a cornerstone of the whole system. First of all, I would like to say a couple of words about School of Tomorrow as a program. School of Tomorrow, for your information, is a complete program. It's a 12-year system, educational system, which allows every child to go through the whole educational process from the first till the 12th grade. And if you look at this chart, which we call a base conversion, you will understand our system very easily. So first of all, in the left uh, column, you can see numbers which are indicated uh, in yellow, and they go from 1 to 12. These numbers indicate the grades or classes in which every child is going to study. And uh, right next to it, in parentheses, you can see numbers from 6 to 17. And these numbers indicate the age of the child. So, for example, if you look at the first line, you will see one, then six in parentheses, and then go several numbers, which actually uh, are numbered from one to 12. We are looking at the last two numbers. So, uh, this system, uh, this chart allows us uh, to understand the complete School of Tomorrow program, which consists of 12 grades and which allows every child from 6 to 17 to go through all those uh, 12 years of education. And as you can see um, at this chart, every student is supposed to complete 12 paces every year in each subject. And uh, this chart may be also considered like a multiplication table when you multiply 12 by 12. So which means, as you can see, that the last, the very last number will be 144. Yeah. So and the first grade end at number 12, then 12 plus 12 is 24. And the second level ends at number 24. Now, when you come to our school, uh, the teachers will be showing you the same table, which looks like this. And then from there, uh, all, the, uh, all the studies of your child actually will begin. And uh, for your information, I want to tell you that these numbers on the chart really mean numbers of our educational materials, which are all numbered. And we have a great variety of educational materials in our school, which are called PACES. And uh, the next presentation will be completely about the PACES, about their structure and how we use them. And uh, you will even understand the meaning of the word PACE. Uh, but you can see that we have PACES in all different subjects. Uh, and one more time, if you look at this chart or at this chart, you can see all of these numbers, it means that every student should complete 12 paces in each subject every year. Now, uh, before we proceed, I would like to explain a couple of things to you. And this is essential for understanding of the diagnostic test procedures. So first of all, uh, we need to understand that there are differences between different educational grades or levels. In most of the schools, students are placed to different uh, grades or classes according to their chronological grade level, which is based on their age. Uh, for example, a 10-year-old child must be a student of the fifth grade. Again, I want to show you uh, the chart. And if you see the fifth line, you will see the fifth grade, which corresponds to the age of 10 year old. And it means that the child who is 10, year, 10 years old is supposed to be placed on the fifth level, or he's supposed to be a student of the fifth grade. Yeah. So, and this is how it's supposed to be done in most of the 
schools in most of the countries of the world. Now, in our school, we mostly deal with the second type of level, which is called the performance level. And under this term, we understand the actual level where a student can study and master a prescribed educational material. And this is the uh, main difference between our program and the other programs where we allow every child to start from that point where they really can understand the prescribed material. Uh, now let us move to the practical example. For example, we have a student, it's an imaginary student whose name is John Blake, and he is born on May 10, 2011. So we may say that uh, by now, the student is 10 years old. And if we refer this information to the pace conversion, we will see that this student must be placed, if we use chronological grade level, he's supposed to be a student of the fifth grade and he's supposed to work at the fifth level. And I highlighted in yellow those numbers of the paces, as you know, the, that our educational materials are presented in the form of paces. So he's supposed to do paces of these numbers. Then, uh, now we're moving to exactly what I'm going to explain to you, to the system of diagnostic tests. Uh, School of Tomorrow has a variety of diagnostic tests, and we offer diagnostic tests in every subject. And every student who enters our school has to take diagnostic tests in five subjects. They will be English, math, social studies, science, and word building. And I would like to draw your attention to the test, which is called ABCs with AC and Christy. This is test which is offered to the students who are about to enter the first grade. Normally, those students who are six years old. And this test is absolutely different. And on, it, on the next slide, I would like to show you different types of assignments that we offer in these tests. And what I want you to know that in the tests, we offer assignments from uh, all bases, which, are, which begin from number one to number 96. So every student can show what they know from every pace of the whole educational program. And now, uh, every diagnostic test, I mean these tests, they are structured approximately in the same way. And on every pace, there is the first page, which looks like this. Uh, and this pace is designed for entering the results of the testing. As, uh, and as you can see, uh, we're supposed to enter the name of the student there. And then uh, second half of this page, you see the same numbers, which I showed you before, the same pace conversion, which starts from number one and ends at number 96. And it covers primary and middle school. So this uh, table does not contain numbers of the high school. Uh, and that is going to be the topic of our next presentation when we are going to talk about high school students. So now, for example, we are moving to the same student we discussed before. His name is John Blake. She is born on May 10, 2011. He's 10 years old. And this is how uh, the results of the English diagnostic test may look. First, we filled in the name, the last name, the first name, his age, birthday, and the grade where he's supposed to be. And then at the bottom, you can see uh, a line which says learning gaps, base numbers. And I indicated the numbers where a student didn't show the knowledge of the material. And on the next slide, uh, this is how it really, it looks in reality. And you can see those numbers circled in red. So the numbers which are circled in red indicate that the student couldn't handle the assignments offered uh, uh, for those numbers of paces. And as you can see, uh, John Blake actually failed to do assignments for pace number 13, 14, then 26, 27, 28. And then starting from number uh, 33, he couldn't do anything. And there are uh, seven numbers in a row where he couldn't handle. So in this case, we can say that the student is ready 
to start from number 33. But before he starts from number 33, he is supposed to do gap bases, which will be numbers 13, 14, 26, 27, and 28. Again, I want to go to the previous pace. Yeah, this is how it looks uh, when we, we are talking about the same student who is 10 years old. And we are trying to identify his performance level, the level where he can really study. And as you remember, this student is supposed to be a student of the fifth grade, but it doesn't mean that he knows the material for the fifth grade. And this is what we saw when we diagnosed him in English. This is the result of the English diagnostic test. Uh, now... Uh, since we identified his weaknesses, now we can see that according to this base conversion, even though John Blake was supposed to be a student, a student of the fifth level or fifth grade, really he can start working as a student of the third grade because he didn't know the material which he was supposed to, be, to know as a student of the fifth grade. And that's why we prescribed to him material according to his performance level. But for your information, I want to tell you that in our school, all students are um, placed in the classes according to their age, which means if John Blake is a 10-year-old student, he will be studying together with other students who are 10 years old. But every student in the class will be doing individual prescription based on the results of the diagnostic test. And it doesn't, uh, by no means, we want to place John Blake to study with those students who are eight years old because psychological and physical health is of prime importance to us. Uh, and in the same way, we diagnose the same student in all subjects and then we can show to the parents the results of the diagnostic test tests in all subjects like this and every parent can see where their child has weaknesses and then we can come up with an individual academic plan which will help that student overcome those academic weaknesses also since we are living in the era of high technology we offer the same kind of tests uh, in online mode. And every student can, uh, sometimes they have a choice or sometimes it's our choice. We can offer to them, go through diagnostic tests online. Uh, and I hope it was very comprehensive to you. <laughs> I hope from now on you have better understanding how it really works uh, with our program. If you have questions or something wasn't clear to you, we will have a chance to answer your questions at the end of our webinar. Uh, so please prepare your questions. And now I am passing it on to Mrs. Natalie uh, and who is going to explain how our educational materials, which are high tech educational tools, really work when students got their prescription when the paces the numbers are already prescribed they got those paces and now you will know what they are supposed to do on those pages and every page of those paces is really interesting and deserves a lot of attention and thank you very much for your attention i will be very happy to get back to you when you have questions <laughs>